Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Disco Shed. Hey, I'm Graham Farmer. In 2019, I made this video. It talks to you about how to claim and verify yourself on Spotify as a DJ and producer. It's my most viewed video. But since then, there's been some changes to the platform and Spotify and the process. So I thought I'd make an updated video for 2022. On this channel, I'm on a major mission to help DJs and producers understand Spotify and grow across the platform. Spotify is one of the best platforms for producers to get for discoverability, to get your music heard by actual fans. As we spoke about in other videos, promoters, bookers, they're all booking people off of Spotify now and the numbers on Spotify because it represents people listening to your music, i.e. actual fans. DJs and producers buy music from Beatport, but fans listen on Spotify and it's a great average and an aggregate of where people are listening to you. Spotify also gives you much more longevity for your music than any other platform because of the playlists and the discoverability. So the one way you can help me with this mission is by simply subscribing to the channel and giving this video a like and a comment if you find it valuable. I've worked with hundreds of DJs and producers over the last few years, helping them grow on Spotify, helping them grow their streams, their playlists, and also getting them releases, whether that's getting them signed to other labels or signing tracks for myself through my own labels, Data Transmission, DC Weapons, 63B. So really know Spotify. So let's get cracking. Okay, so let's dive into my computer and go through the process. Okay, the well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to set up a user account that you can attach your artist account to. So the first thing you need to do is go to spotify.com and sign up as a user. I would definitely do this process here where you fill in your email address, password, name, and go through this process and set up an account here. It doesn't need to be a paid account, it can just be a free account, but since you want account that you can attach your artist to. Also, once you've set this up, it's your profile account. So I probably would do it in your profile name as your DJ name as well. Put your DJ name in there because then what you're gonna do is you can create your playlists on this account. If you've already got one for Spotify, then you can skip this step. Once you've done that, the next thing you're gonna to need to do is go to artist.spotify.com. Then you're gonna to need to click on get access. Then you're gonna to need to click on artist or manager. This is when then you're gonna log in. So I already have a login, so I'm going to say, that's me, and login, which is the account you just created on, on the spotify.com. And then you're going to click continue. This is me. And then what we're going to do is we're going to either type your artist name in there. If there's, sometimes there's multiple artists with the same name. So I found, actually found an artist that hasn't been claimed. Just a bit of a dig on my playlists. So I'll type him in there. Look, he's got, there's a few here. So if you're not sure which one is you, because it's because you're a new account, then go to Spotify, share, copy link to artists. And you paste that in there. And then that comes up there. Then you're gonna enter your email address and essentially just step it through. It's gonna give you a password and a code, and you're gonna to need to put those into the into here. Quick click click next next. It's gonna probably ask you to assigns your social media accounts to link them to it just so it can verify that it's you so you all match up the same again then step that through and then it'll give you a three-day waiting period where they check it come back to you once you've done that then you get access to artist.spotify and basically you get this page you can see i have multiple artists so my roster these are the artists that are on mine mainly because i have multiple teams one thing you can do as a label is you can sign up as a label account so i've got 63b boost weapons state transmission dt and this is where you can then control your artists and what and you're also your picture of your artists as well so i have two 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 met team members also there's a new feature for labels where you can actually assign brand new artists to your label and give them access as long as they've got their spotify.com account then you can attach that to their artist account so if it's a brand new artist that's had no releases before the first release then get their spotify.com account and you can attach that to their user account and pitching to editorial you can do this 28 days before so if we go back to our artists go back to my roster you can see these ones have been pitched these ones haven't if you're in just one artist, um, let's go to go to one artist, go to music, go to upcoming. You can see this is his release, and this is where you can click it. 
If you're self-releasing, it means you need to upload your track more than five weeks before, so you can pitch four weeks before. Give it a, give it a week to kind of get through. If you're uploading a self-release, remember to upload a Spotify version or a radio edit. Uh, us DJs like big, long, extended edits for DJing, but playlist owners, they all prefer shorter radio edits, and they're more likely to get picked from the pitch, and also from the third-party pitches if it's a radio edit, so make sure you upload a radio edit. Once you've gone through the pitch process and I've done a video on pitch process so go and check that in the link below on how to pitch your track I've done a whole separate video on that and that goes to the editorial team the editorial will skip through it and see if it's right for their playlist that you they control but yeah if I'm a brand new artist I would get in there as early as possible get that pitch done this guy's this IRS has got one out on the 13th so he needs to go pitch as soon and I'll be on I'll be emailing him to tell him other parts of the system so let's go through the system so you've got the home Music, this is where all your music is kept. And you can see your releases and how they're doing. This also gives you some actual tracking stats. So let's go into Archie. So I can see his releases. So if you actually look at his releases, you can see that it's had so many streams, so many saves. And this is where you can kind of work out the kind of rate of save as well, which is a really, really important factor how much it's getting saved against against the amount of listens that gives you kind of its popularity that's a really useful number to have because it helps you get more playlist support going to audience it tells you where all your people are listening to you and the types of listeners you've got and also this is an important thing is your top countries I use this data when I'm, when I'm building ad strategies and where to pitch my ads to for your profile, this is where you actually style up your profile. This is really important. I've said this in the editorial pitch video, but I also say it again in this video. Style up, just take some time, put some pictures in there. Put some, go into your about, fill that in with. Put some, put a picture in there, put more bio. So Archie should have his full bio in there. Add your social links again, add those in there. You can see his fans also like, which is really important because that's going to, and these all match up to the, looking through his, these all match up to the type of music he plays, which is really good. If you've got a Shopify, connect your Shopify. The other thing is, like I said before, use your artist pick. So he's got a release this week, so it's important to use his release. If you didn't have a release, then maybe use it as one of your friends. Don't be selfish. Pick a track that's one of your friends' track to highlight them, support each other. Or if you've got a release like this, maybe if this has been inspired by somebody out there another release, using the build-up to the release, say, oh, to drive people to follow you. Anything drives back to your artist page to get followers. Because the more followers you get, the more release radars you get. And then a new feature is charts, which gives you kind of, this is more of your bigger artist. If you look at most of these sections, you'll find it's more the pop artists than the bigger stream artists. For us, for the smaller underground artists, I don't think you're going to feature in there yet. But keep an eye on it, because you never know, it might start becoming a thing. But the key tabs for me are importance, are audience, where people are listening, how much you're listening, how much engagement. So look, he's had 5,400 listeners, so 12,000 streams, it's in the last 28 days. So he's, and he's, he's had 1,200 playlist ads. Streams per listener is 2.249. Again, these are all important metric data. The more you push this up, the more reach you're getting, the more traction, the more your tracks are getting more traction. And you can go longer, you can go last 28 days, you can do last since the time. But I was looking at these important, important things are where people are listening, which countries, what cities, and your ad strategy when if you're running ads, would you put, that's useful data for pushing those more. Do you want to ramp up your Spotify this year? I have made a handy downloadable guide, which you can grab from the link below. It helps you through understanding all the parts of Spotify as a DJ and producer, from playlists, from pitching, from promotion, from tips. Go and grab it. It's really useful. And it's just down below. Do you struggle with getting your music on Spotify playlist? Do you struggle with growing your Spotify? Well, as part of my course, The Artist Blueprint, we teach you how to grow your Spotify. We teach you how to group grow playlists and we teach you how to really push them to the max. Also, as part of the course plan, on Fridays, we collect up all the course members releases for that week 
and pitch them out to our massive Spotify network, which we've been growing through data transmission. This puts their music in front of more playlists. It also puts them in front of playlist owners, and some of those are big labels and artists, which gets them on those places' radars before they've even pitched them their new music, which they're trying to get signed to. If you want to be part of the course, well, it's down to you. Basically, we need to have a discovery call. Me and you chat on the phone. We try and understand what you're about, where you are now, what you're doing now, and also where you want to get to. If the course fits a bit in the middle, then we go through the course. If it's not right for you that time, then I'll suggest a few things you can be doing to get you ready to the course further down the line. I really see the course as a relationship and a long-term us working together. So I really want people that are right at that time so we can really push you to the max. And we do that through all of our channels and data transmission. So if you want to be part of that, click on the link below and jump on the discovery call with me. It'd be great to talk to you. As ever, if you need more help on the subject we've been talking about today, drop me a comment below where you're struggling and I'll see if I can help in the comments. Or if you've got some value, let me know what you got took from this. Similarly, if you didn't like something, let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to improve these videos as much as humanly possible. I'm working on so hard. So if there's something you didn't like, let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to improve it. Similarly, if you did like it, give it a like, give it a share. It really, really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and it really helps me get this video out to more DJs and producers. I've been Graham Farmer. I'll see you in the next video next Thursday or on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. I'll see you soon.